Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate traditional artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Boom! Way to go, Xavier. How we doing, Jeff? I'm great. Welcome to What Does an Artist Do? <laughs> and just what does an artist do? Uh, that's what we cover each and every week oh, or that's every right. other week. Yeah. And a little slow tonight. Yes, this is uh, Xavier. Uh, Hello, folks. Our host and ultimate questionnaire. <laughs> and I'm Jeff Mueller, computer art man. Uh, just the guy that uh, we've been talking. We've been, once again, done a ton of video blogs. I hope for all the new people that are watching. If there's some, and then and welcome back all the people who watch on a regular basis. But this week, how are how 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 have things been? Things have been crazy, but good. You know, it, it's uh, welcoming the January thaw that we've had. I mean, it's quite warm out. We're here in northeastern Ohio, and it's 53 degrees, which is about uh, 25 to 30 degrees higher than it usually is in January. That backyard is a Muddy mess and predicting 50s for Groundhog Day. Oh yeah, I have eight muddy paws to wipe every few hours. As do you. Yeah. Well, actually, because the warm weather, my my backyard really never swamped up, mm -hmm. so there's still kind of a grass layer. So if they don't decide to do something and go flying through the garden or whatever, and they stay, it's been a, a lot lot better. You know, a lot of times with all that snow. And then all that snow melting, it turns into that soupy mess, and we just haven't had the snow. No, we haven't. So, so this week, you've had some phenomenal shots of the water tower this past week or so. Yeah, this week, we're today, uh, day 276, with 89 more days. Basically, three months. So, we'll be finishing up end of April. And uh, in these days, we were talking about this is the push. So you're going to hear a lot about it in the coming days, uh, mostly about the water tower, because what this artist is doing all day, every day, has the water tower in these three months. It's consuming me as far as what I'm doing and what part of the project I'm working on. And, there's, and it's all encompassing. I've increased my social media uh presence where I was pretty much sticking to um, Instagram and I was sticking to Facebook and a little bit onto Twitter. Now I've ramped it up on Facebook uh, to all the groups that I, I, I was sticking to, uh, the Water Tower groups, and now it's kind of going across all my platforms, uh, what I'm doing with this to promote it. And then I've completely up my game on Twitter. Uh, I've been posting every day on Twitter and talking about it and really letting all my Twitter follow followers. Twitter is my strongest social media. I've got about 7,200 followers on Twitter. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's 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 all right uh, for a person who hasn't... Uh, you're not a rock star, you're right. not an actor. Exactly. Uh, there's some artists that do a lot of marketing and that type of thing, and they can get into 13,000, but... Uh, that's my goal to get into 10,000 coming up and it's it, it keeps pushing up it doesn't go backwards it just keeps going and going and up and up and up and so pushing that but then I've also been hitting my Pinterest which I've really never gotten into Pinterest on a regular basis but now the Pinterest has got the 52 shades of blue uh, pin board and I'm pinning the the pictures uh, daily there and posting the video blogs that I you know that I've been doing and then also I've been hitting LinkedIn, uh, posting on there, and that's been okay. And it seems like, and then Google Plus, and then there's a there's a thing called Clout, which measures your uh, social media presence that you can put it in. And I've been doing that. And then there's even a thing called, uh, you know, it started out with, uh, it's it's a social media stock market uh, program, and it basically I've started to market. On that also by pushing the some of the things 
some of the people there that follow me and invest in me to the YouTube channel and watching the video blogs on the 52 Shades of Blue. So really I've upped my social media presence and it's it's time consuming. It's actually blowing you know my battery on my phone which usually lasts me a good all day. By noon I'm recharging up again and I'm recharging it by 9 o'clock at night. It's got to go back on the charger. So really that's that's something that I've been doing. And then I really want to stress this this particular video blog the importance of the people that are following and supporting and understanding what i'm doing the light tower is a light study of as we've talked in the past of nature uh it has to do with the sun whether it's behind the clouds whether it's at sunrise whether it's at sunset it's the angle it's the time of the year how it's hitting the tower and I I pretty much take the same picture every day over and over, but I also revolve around the tower 360 degrees. I've pretty much in 276 days found the, all the angles and the different views that you can find and taken those pictures and then found the views that are the most um, becoming to the tower uh, that that catch the moments that you need you know that really catch some nice moments. Uh, uh, to make the tower or the picture uh, beautiful and I've taken about 7,500 photos since I started and of those 7,500 photos they're gonna have to be edited down to 52 uh, <laughs> but let's get back once again to the people uh, I've got a, a, a lot of people supporting me uh, the group has grown uh, we are at 468 people when I started the push, we were at 233. So we've more than doubled the group since I started the push at 100 days. So we are we have eight, in 11 days we've doubled the group, which is spectacular. And I need all the new people in the group to start telling their family and friends, and I need the old people to keep pushing it amongst because you are the people that have been with me, uh, Patricia Massey. Uh, oh. Joanne Poulton, she's uh, she's local, uh, been very supportive, and then there's August Schlitz, he's from Virginia Beach, really appreciates the the magnitude of of, of the project. These people, uh, Donna Howard, I believe uh, Jackie Jarmon, they have been so supportive to me. When I see their comments and what they, on a daily basis, uh, Kathy LaRocco, uh, Jordan Rivers, Marianne May, uh, they're, they're, it's endless, uh, Xavier, <laughs> Lori Harbert, and, I mean, it's just Tony Wells, Bobby Capwell. I mean, these people mean so much to me as far as what I see every day posting and their comments and they understand what I'm trying to do and by understanding what I'm trying to do that drives me and when I first started the project it was more of a personal project I wasn't sure what the light study was going to bring as far as social media I knew I wanted to put it out there but the group that we're getting together the group of people that are on a daily basis and I I'm gonna uh, next time I'm just I'm gonna have everybody that uh, one of my strong points isn't remembering names on cue <laughs> so it's just not it's something that I know all of you and I know how the, how uh, Nancy Pace for instance that's something that she talks to me every day but that was gonna elude me uh, but these people are so important as far as their support towards what I'm doing and then telling other people that the group is growing and this is what I really believe as it grows and everybody kind of sees the tower and what I'm trying to do and it's different lights and then when I start to create the artwork I mean once the projects finished as far as the light study the one-year light study that puts me into creating the artwork from the light study and that's going to be pretty exciting because I have so many more ideas than I did initially when I started this out I didn't know exactly but but the direction of what I want to do and what I've been thinking about what I could do the it's it there's so much beauty in this that the but it's going to be endless of what I can do as far as painting 
painting conventionally, painting digitally, uh, mixing the two together, the photographs that are going to be in it. The 52 pieces, there's no doubt about it, are going to be stunning because out of 7,500, there's probably 500 that could make the book that we're gonna that I'm gonna do in the end. Yeah, easy. And I've got to edit them down to the top 52. That's gonna be real tough. But, but not only tough, but it's gonna be spectacular. You're gonna have 52 spectacular photos of this water tower. Who ever in dreaming of anything would say you could pick out 52 spectacular photos of a water tower? The same one too. And it's just something to me that's amazing because I get every day someone says, I like that one. I like that one. I really like this one. This is my new favorite. It's just coming through all the time. You know, what you leave on the proverbial cutting room floor, you could make a well, that's, portfolio Well, that brings of. me to the last yeah. part. I talked about it a little bit this morning is when then we do this Kickstarter program and I've got, oh, I'll have, oh, my goal is to have a thousand of you guys ready to go for this Kickstarter, and if you can support what I'm doing, maybe it, there's going to there's going to be a chance to pre-buy the book. There's going to be a chance to do to to buy special Kickstarter artwork that I'm going to do. That everybody who does the it, th buys this certain package will get that artwork because the book is going to be probably a year in the making. You know, it's you got to edit. I still have to create all the artwork, so there's going to be some time. So if I'm doing this Kickstarter program, the book isn't going to be coming to the people who buy it right away. I mean, it's not something that you that's just ready to go because I have to create the artwork. But the piece of artwork that I'm going to do specifically for this kick, it's not even gonna, it'll be a 53rd picture in the book. It'll be part of the book, but it's only for Kickstarter. So that's that's kind of where we're at with that so since it's just going to be the kickstarter that it won't be available for anybody else except somebody who purchases and supports kickstarter that's going to increase what i can do with the book you know initially i had a book that i was going to do online i was going to put it together and that type of thing and then i was going to print them off and I want to print them off as needed. As you order, I print them off. It's something you could do online. Every you know, hardcover. I'm going to do offer soft cover too. But you, it's not a, it's not a problem to do that. And it's fairly inexpensive. So I'm not going to have to charge a lot of money for that. But what I was thinking is that if I get some get support on Kickstarter and everybody supports this, I can then do more than the 52 pages. I can have the 52 images. But the 52 pages would be just, the, the, that would be the 52 images, and I could put so many more in there. So oh, yes, you that's could. That's what I'm looking to do. Pretty awesome, Jeff. Looking forward to seeing it. Well, <laughs> we're so far away. But it's just like every week, you know. We're closer the, than the we days, were 279 days, days ago. Yeah. yeah. And, and, the, and each day brings another, another good shot. So. Yeah, it does. That it? That is it. Anything to add? Well, you know, just one thing that I, because it's so unusual, it's totally off topic, but, you know, the enormity of the loss of talent in the music world in the month of January 2016, starting with Natalie Cole and David Bowie and Glenn Fry, and then just recently Paul Kantner of Jefferson Airplane. Unbelievable. What a loss of talent to that form of art. Yeah, the, everybody, it's a time period, you know, and everybody's approaching that, and no, it's the one thing nobody ever gets out of, right? Yep, that's one of, the, one of the certainties, but other than that, have a great week, folks. Yeah.